Imagine waking up one day to realize that everything you have learned about the world is falling flat in the face of new evidence. To find out that we are living in a simulation or a three-dimensional projection of a two-dimensional world. Or imagine being told that the world you live in is not real. Something like the 1999 Hollywood movie, Fight Club. All of this might sound ridiculous right now, but I promise you, it won't, in a few minutes. Welcome to You Curious? Discover more, no more. The inflation theory, which is widely accepted by almost everyone, states that the universe came into existence with a big bang. In the first fraction of a second after the bang, the universe's fabric expanded faster than light. Without an explanation like that, we would have difficulty explaining some crucial features of today's cosmos with a universe that began as a hot dense soup and has been growing and cooling since. But the theory has unpalatable consequences. So unpalatable that they threaten to undermine our very understanding of the cosmos. And guess what? The James Webb Space Telescope might already have found loopholes in our model of the universe. However, that gets dwarfed when the latest images of Webb point out that the Big Bang never happened. I don't know about you, but such a prospect makes me both scared and excited. Firstly, science is all about demolishing theories and replacing them with more accurate ones. If the Big Bang did not happen, there is an entirely different origin story of the universe waiting to be unfolded. That is exciting. But what also scares me at the same time is that if the Big Bang didn't happen, then how did all of this come into existence? How did the universe come into being? We know that every variation of the Big Bang theory suggests that somehow the universe spontaneously created itself from nothing. This notion defies both physics and logic and the science of thinking and reasoning. Nothing cannot be the cause of something. The universe is everything that exists. There is nothing existing outside the universe that could possibly bring it into existence. Aristotle is reputed to have expressed it this way. The notion that there could be nothing that preceded something offends reason itself. Having said that, let's dive deeper and see how our newest technological marvel is proving the Big Bang Theory wrong. The new images of the James Webb Space Telescope are awe-inspiring. We have never seen the universe in finer details, and it is only the beginning. Over the years, Webb will unfold a plethora of snapshots of the universe, providing us more details about the world we live in. While the images are extremely beautiful to us, for professional astronomers and cosmologists, they are also extremely surprising. Since the release of the first image on July 11th, which showed the deepest view of the universe captured till date, a flood of technical astronomical papers has been published online. The authors report again and again that the images show surprisingly many galaxies. Galaxies that are surprisingly smooth, surprisingly small, and surprisingly too old. The surprises aren't pleasant ones though. In fact, one paper's title even begins with a candid exclamation, panic. But, why are the images creating panic among cosmologists? And what is the widely accepted theory that they are contradicting? You already know it, the Big Bang. Let me explain why these two small, two smooth, two old galaxies are completely incompatible with the Big Bang hypothesis. In an expanding universe, a strange optical illusion comes into play. Galaxies, or any other objects in expanding space, do not continue to look smaller, with increasing distance. In fact, beyond a certain point, they start looking larger and larger. This is because, their light is supposed to have left them when they were closer to us. In contrast, a non-expanding space will have objects look smaller in proportion to their distance. But web images show galaxies smaller in size. Even galaxies with greater luminosity and mass than our own Milky Way galaxy appear in these images to be two to three times smaller than in similar images observed with the Hubble Space Telescope. Put another way, the galaxies that the James Webb Space Telescope shows are just the same size as the galaxies near to us if it is assumed that the universe is not expanding and redshift is proportional to distance. 
But from the standpoint of the Big Bang, expanding universe hypothesis, these distant galaxies must be intrinsically, extremely tiny, to compensate for the hypothesized optical illusion. Which means they are further out than they appear, which means they are older than the Big Bang itself. And since nothing could have originated before the Big Bang, the existence of these galaxies demonstrates that the Big Bang did not occur. To drive the point home, in any expanding universe, the optical illusion makes objects at high redshift appear larger and dimmer, so their surface brightness, the ratio of apparent brightness to apparent area, declines sharply with redshift. But based on observations of thousands of galaxies, surface brightness is completely constant with distance, as expected in a universe, that is not expanding. Also, after observations showed, that the surface brightness dimming, did not occur. Big Bang theorists counter this by hypothesizing that galaxies were much smaller in the distant past and have grown greatly. Hence the surface brightness. But observations have contradicted this fix as well, showing that there have not been enough galaxy mergers for the growth rates needed. In addition, the ultra-small galaxies hypothesized would have to have more mass in stars than total mass, an obvious impossibility. Despite of this, and several arguments, let's just assume that the Big Bang did happen, and as such, there must be no galaxies older than the Big Bang itself, correct? This mean, s that as Webb looks further in space and back in time, there would be fewer galaxies and eventually, none. But a recent paper which is yet to be published in Nature, demonstrates that galaxies as massive as the Milky Way, are common even a few hundred million years after the hypothesized bang. The authors state that the new images of Webb show that there are at least 100,000 times as many galaxies as theorists predicted, at redshifts more than 10. There is no way that so many large galaxies can be generated in so little time. So again, no Big Bang. Which brings us to the part where we are both wondering why major media outlets are not reporting this collapse of the Big Bang hypothesis. Unfortunately, funding for cosmology comes from a very few government sources, controlled by a handful of committees that are dominated by Big Bang theorists. These theorists have spent their lives building the Big Bang theory. Those who openly question the theory, simply don't get funded. But truth always finds its way. And as Webb continues to produce more images of the ancient universe, it is only a matter of time, before we start focusing on an actual origin story of the universe, rather than a convenient one. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to you curious? Discover more, know more.